Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Man, I can't believe that we're at the point of like flip throughs of last year's planner. Um, this year's planning was way different. I really franken planned a lot using an hourly layout, going back to my vertical layout. I just, we did a lot of things this year. So I thought I'd give you a little flip through of all the different like spreads. There might be some we skip, like I'm not gonna show you this whole thing there. It's, he's pretty chunky. I don't know if you can see him right there, but he's pretty chunky. Um, but this was an 18 month planner that I had gotten on clearance cause it was already six months of the way in and I wanted it because it was an hourly layout and I liked the cover only because it reminds me of David Bowie and Labyrinth even though he never said the magic's in you babe but like you remind me of the babe what babe the babe with the power what power I won't sing the whole thing and I will in my head so when I open my planner I always have my word of the year my word of the year is strength and Whoa, you know, I had taken a couple months off of looking at this, and then when I flipped back to it, because I was doing a little side project that had to do with mission statements and word of the year, I was like, oh, yeah, this was a year of strength. And not so much physical strength, but um, spiritual strength and emotional strength. So I always put my mission statement on the other side, and then I made kind of like a dashboard. I did not do as much of this <laughs> as I would have liked to. But that's why, you know, you're always working to better yourself, right? And then I love this quote from Mother Teresa. So I leave that there. And then my name, lettered, fabulous, love it. I did not really use the perpetual calendar for this one. I just, I just didn't, I need to, I need to in my other one. So January, we've got hourly layout, we've got coffee planner mom stickers, life is good. Life is real good. Ah, oh, this spread. This was a good one. I haven't done one like this in a while, and I really need to again. Um, I made the PR team. I was so excited. Blackhawks game. We didn't go to a Blackhawks game. No. Blustery Blues kit from last year. So yeah, we're just going to kind of flip through. I might put some music to some of it. I might stop and talk about certain ones. talk about this page I still hate this page <laughs> man I had an idea and it just didn't come out and I think if I wouldn't have used the washi it would have been better but it was fun I mean you gotta try new things right I do love this spread. I love the like plaid and greenery. Um, 
can we just throw out there that this race car kit was super cute. Super cute. Oh, this is where a lot of redating happened. So, um, yeah. I was able, what I did was I found like months that followed the dates. Um, and then I would, um, just redate the like, the month itself. So I didn't have to like put date dots down on everything. Now, this is where I changed planners and I moved into the archetype 18 month planner because I just wasn't feeling the hourly layout anymore. I was kind of over it and I wanted to go back to the part that I just love the most, which is the vertical. So here we go. Oh, I should pause a moment. This was, in June is when my parents moved in with me. So you saw a lot of like, a lot of stuff. And so some things where you see like, functional PT, that wasn't for me, that was for my dad. And like where I wrote down like falls and stuff like that because we didn't do his physical therapy on days he fell. Man, it was not a good year for my veggies. I'm just saying. Love the popsicles. Life got very lifey here because I started and then I thought when I'd start school I'd be okay and I was just an emotional wreck when school started. Oh, this spread. Sunflowers and strawberries. Isn't it funny how like you can open a page of your planner and it's like oh, Self-care was a struggle. I think it's interesting to see how when I move back into the vertical planner, I'm not cutting the boxes as much. Did any of you notice that too? I'm not cutting the boxes as much. I do want to do spreads like that again, but, oh, and the fall floral, so fun. Oh yes, this is when Satan's romaine happened. <laughs> I got food poisoning from my romaine. Oh, it was the worst. It was the worst. <laughs> not good. Zero out of 10. Do not recommend. Mmm, all the fall stuff. There's Ella. I did not get as many Ella stickers as the rest of the um, PR, P 
people and coffee planner mom people did. Not because I didn't want it. It's just like I knew that what kind of what I was working with. Like I already really planned out some things, but I'm sure there will be some Ella in my future. And this is when I started like really limiting the white space. I've been doing that a lot lately. I think because just stickers have been so stress relieving. November. Mmm, Cosmos kit. And poor Sharpie with his antibiotics. And then that brings us to December, which is still in this guy here. So we're gonna open up this guy. He'll move over to this planner. All right. That's my little reading insert. is up to here so that is a flip there of my catch-all for the year like I said I wanted to keep it quick easy not too much I mean there is there are other things back here like my social media stuff but it, there's not really much to to flip through in my journal which I'm not flipping through for you um and then I won't do a flip through of my school planner until the end of the school year so and that one's always a little tricky because if there's any personal stuff I can't really share that with you guys but um if you like this video I should put the other one back here because it really is this guy <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next one